top story tonight. There is a new effort to protect women using rideshare apps, something many will be doing this holiday season. Lyft just launched Women Plus Connect in Salt Lake City. New specialist Shelby Lofton joins us live from the airport to tell us how it works and what passengers think about it. Shelby? When you order your Lyft, you may not think about the possibility of having an uncomfortable conversation or even getting harassed on your ride. But unfortunately, this is the reality for a lot of people, women especially, and it's happening to both passengers and drivers. We talked to travelers today who said this feature will change how they get from place to place. Salt Lake Airport was really busy today. It's that time of year. Passengers deal with long travel days to see family and friends for the holidays. And I'm going to California, yay, for Christmas. Many travelers rely on rideshare apps to get them to their final stop. A lot of interesting rides. And it's drivers like Crystal Cooper who take the responsibility seriously. I've picked up so many women who are just wanting to find a safe ride home, and sometimes they just don't feel safe, you know, in certain circumstances. Cooper loves her job, but says she's had scary encounters. So I had a guy snarling, like snarling in my car. I've had many of times where I've almost been attacked or I've been assaulted. 10 years into driving for Lyft, she says a new feature on the app is turning things around. Honestly, it brought tears to my eyes because I have been waiting for this. And then here's Women Plus Connect right here. Lyft's Women Plus Connect app allows passengers to set a preference for female or non-binary drivers. Female riders tell me that they stopped taking rideshare in general um, until they heard about this. She says her fellow female drivers and passengers are excited about it. The downside is when you request to have a female driver and you opt in, it doesn't always mean you're going to get a female driver. She hopes the new feature incentivizes people to sign up. To be able to come out and say, hey, like I can go and I can drive at night. Like a girl traveling alone with another girl, sometimes like you feel safer than maybe a girl traveling with a guy. Many are excited to take advantage of this option. I feel like women have each other's backs. I think we need to. They said they're hopeful this will help them get from point A to point B safely. At the end of the day, we're still strangers picking up strangers. And Cooper estimates that only 30% of rideshare drivers in Salt Lake City are women. So if you opt in for this feature, but you're still paired with a man, it's possible. It's because there are no female or non-binary drivers available. Cooper says she's really hopeful that this changes in the future with this new feature in place. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, interesting option. Shelby, thank you.